welcome back to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today I am going to walk you through how I made some amazing letter geodes. These are perfect to hang in a kid's bedroom or even your bedroom or craft room or you can actually use some of those mini easels and just stand them up as decoration. So let's get started. Doing the geode letters is actually a fairly simple process. I start out by mapping and I did use a Sharpie, although I do recommend a pencil if you can still see the lines when you use them. And the molds I'm using are from Le Cranch Creations and those I'm just kind of placing on my letters trying to see where I would like them in the finished product because I'm gonna pour colors into these on the side and then when they're cured, I'm gonna come back on my second layer and actually place them. So right now I'm just sort of placing them here on the letters to see where I want them and then I'm gonna map out my letters with a Sharpie around that idea. After everything is mapped out, I just went ahead and divided up my clear resin into the different cups if you're not sure how to mix resin, go ahead and check out my video right here. And if you're not sure how much pigment to put in those particular cups, um, depending on whether or not you're using alcohol inks or acrylics or pigment paste, then check out this video right here. I have everything that you need to help start as a beginner. Now that I'm done mixing the pigments, all I'm gonna do is lay those out in these lines. This first layer is not gonna look as awesome as I want it to because we still have to come back and add layers and add those gems. So all of that really comes together on the second layer of our geodes. So right now, just worry about getting some beautiful lines out and then we'll focus on really bringing it all out on the second layer.
All right, we are ready for the second layer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these crystals out of the mold. And then I'm just going to hold them up in the spot that I want to have them. Now, keep in mind, if you do have an unlevel surface, these will float with the resin. So if you're using resin to hold them down, you really wanna make sure you have something pressing it down onto your surface. I just used a popsicle stick to make sure it wasn't going to come off my letter and wherever it kind of stuck, I was super happy with. And then of course, before adding your final clear layer of resin and attaching these crystals, you wanna go ahead and add in your lines here at this point. So we've done our first layer. We're gonna go ahead and add some lines. I'm just using some liquid paint markers. Um, I've also seen people use chalk markers or the metallic ones I'm gonna use here as well. Um, those are oil-based. On the green one, I was a little bummed because all I had was white and I didn't think the gold would look good. Um, so I was hoping I had a silver. But apparently I didn't. Um, so with this one, I really didn't have extra colored lines like I would have liked to, but I do still think it turned out fantastic. Now that I'm done drawing out my lines and I know exactly where I want my crystals to be, I'm gonna go ahead and add my final clear coat of epoxy and then set my crystals in that clear coat. Again, if it starts to run away on you or float away, then just have something hold it in place. But make sure that whatever is holding it in place um, isn't touching the actual clear coat of epoxy, otherwise it's gonna get stuck in there. And that's it. Let me know what you think of these beautiful letters. Um, have you guys tried this? I have totally been on a geo letter kick lately, so I'm very happy with the way that these turned out. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.